So today we're going to be making the ultimate music stack so we can organize and stream our music anywhere. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a supporter of the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to TechnoDad Life and my name is Jeff and we make technology simplified. And so today we're going to do AirPlay from our server. We're going to be using, uh, we're going to be using AirSonic or MStream to stream our music. And then finally we'll show you how to get started with Beats which can organize, uh, it's sort of like the ultimate music organization tool. So let's get started. So first we need to go to Stacks and then Add Stack and we're going to call this Music. Next we're going to find our PUIG and our PGID and then also our Absolute Path. So what I suggest is actually getting Sublime Text and just pasting all this information in as we go along. First we need to open up PuTTY and then type in ID and our username. And here we can see my UID is 1000, my GID is 100. We're going to paste that in here, put in our time zone, and next we need to find the absolute path of our server. So we need to go to Open Media Vault, click on Shared Folders, and then click on a down arrow, Columns, click on Absolute Path, and then the Absolute Path will show up here. Click on it once, right click, click inspect. And then over here it has our absolute path. Double click on that, copy. Go back to the subline text and then paste the first one in here, app data. And then we need to do the same for downloads where we have our music, where we have our playlists, our podcasts. Next we're going to go to Music Brains and we're going to sign in here and get an account. So Music Brains is the encyclopedia of music and it can be used by the program Beats which we're going to be installing. Next go into the comments and the first comment will have the stack that we're about to put in. So simply copy that, paste that into Sublime Text. And the values that we got up here above we're going to then paste in here. So basically our environmental variables and then for app data we want to put in app data dap config then there's our music folder go down again there's our environmental variables app data slash airsonic and then there's music playlist podcasts our environmental variables app data slash beats and then music and downloads environmental variables again, and then we need to put in a username and password for mstream, and then app data slash mstream, and then our music. So once you've done that, you're gonna copy that and we're going to paste it into Portainer. So start copying at the version, and then paste that into Portainer. Make sure there's no little red dots in front of anything. Then click Deploy Stack, and it's time for a cup of coffee. So now the stack is deployed. There's a music stack. If we go to Containers, we can see our published ports, and you can see under DAP, it didn't have a published port. I don't know why it does it this way, but it still works. So let's go through these one at a time. So first we'll look at what DAP is. And so basically, this publishes our music library to AirPlay devices through our server. Now if we copy our IP address, paste that in there, 3689, we get to our DAP server. You can actually use this unconfigured too, and I'll show you that in a second here. So then you can create playlists and other things in here. And there's our music folder, there's our music. You can search through things. But the juice in this one is actually connecting it to AirPlay and then AirPlay will actually play your music. So if we open up AirPlay, 
And first of all, if we click on this button right here, if you have more than one device, it will show up here. So I have a computer and then I have a HomePod, which is right there. It's right, right there. So I have it on my HomePod. And then here where it says podcast, we actually hear it says Linux server music. Click on that. Our music will show up. And as I click on this or click here on the computer, then it will start playing music back here. So here I'm going to click on it. And the music's coming from back there rather than from my computer. Now I'm going to stop that quickly so I don't get a strike from YouTube. So that's that. Nice and simple and easy. Next is AirSonic, which is a media server. And I've made a video about this before, so check the video up here about how to set this up. If we go to Portainer and next to AirSonic, let's see, right there, 4040. And then we would just log in. So next is Beats. And so Beats, so Beats is a music organizer. So basically it finds the metadata for your music, such as cover art and creator information, but also it can transcode your music. Now let's take a look at this. So if we go to the Beats page, here we say fetch and calculate your metadata, uh, get metadata from Music Brains, which is why we signed into Music Brain, transcode video, or transcode audio, excuse me, find duplicate tracks and browse your music graphically. Interesting. Now the thing about Beats is, so Beats is pretty much all written. And so today I'm not going to go over that, but if you're interested in having a tutorial about how to set up Beats, it's easy, but it's just uh, all text files. So you have to fool around with that for a little bit. Okay. So if we go to Portainer, click on Beats, you can hear, see here it shows up. And again, there's nothing to look at because you have to set it all up in a text file for it to actually do something. And finally is MStream. And so MStream is also a music server, but it has, if you pay a subscription, it will easily, you can easily access your music from anywhere on the web. So let's take a look at that. So if we go to Portainer, click on 3001, which is the published port for MStream. We have to log in with the username and password that we put in the Docker. Start out with, I just put in admin and password and then click log in. And here you can see that it has many of the same things as the other ones do. So playlists, albums, artists, recent uh, transcoding, and you can do mobile and jukebox. So today we just touched our toes into the water of music apps, but these are probably four of the most used music apps and you can pick and choose which ones you like. And if you would like to see a video about Beats itself with its uh, different command line things, uh, leave a comment down in the description below and we'll get that out. And that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.